All right, so we've had some rain. The pond is pretty full. Um, I have drain issues, which right about here should be a, a drain pipe, which is still there. It's just not working anymore because I had to abandon the pipe. And the uh, reason for that is, is because about maybe five or six feet down, it developed a hole in it because it's a metal pipe. So I had to block it off on the outlet side. So now, until that can somehow be repaired or replaced without really draining all the pond, um, I have to manually drain the pond and with no use of a gasoline powered pump or anything. But I'm going to show you that you can, for you know, if you don't have a transfer pump or a trash pump, you can go ahead and use a siphon pipe. And that just involves maybe some pipe, which I'm using two inch PVC, and I'm using about mm, about 50 feet of it. I'm using some uh, 22 degrees on the on the ends, and I'm also using a small clean out that you're gonna see right here. And I'm using a clean out to fill the pipe. Uh, what you'll need is if you want to do it. To where it flexes you want to get some fern coes which is the rubber fittings with the bands which is these right here okay so you have those you just butt join them together and then put that on there and you're also going to need a shutoff valve on the end which is what I've used here is a two inch ball valve. Um, you can see the existing pipe right there, which is a four inch metal pipe. But the problem is, is that the pond would just drain because inside the pond there, the metal pipe has uh, deteriorated to the point to where it just kept draining my pond out. So I had to put a piece of wood in it, basically cork the end of it off. So pipe runs uphill as you can tell these are 10 foot sticks and they run up 30 feet up to the top there so I'm gonna put this together and I'm gonna show you how this works and for those that don't have a gasoline pump and you need to move some water uh, this is probably the cheapest way to do it for you so let me put this together and show you Now once you have your valve or your T clean out open, now just get a five gallon bucket and start filling it up. Make sure your valve is off. Now that you got your pipe full and you got the valve shut off, hopefully, if you uh, fill this pipe up and shut this clean out, close the lid on it really, really good so it doesn't leak any air. When you open the valve at the bottom, it should pull the water up through this pipe and start a siphon. Now I'm going to open this valve and start the siphon. It'll pick up as the siphon really starts to take effect. Should get a full stream, just like right now. So now the siphon is going... from all the way up top there, from in the pond.
Now with the siphon started, the water, once it gets below that pipe, it'll shut itself off, drawing air up into it, stopping the vacuum and pulling water through the pipe. This will probably run for about four days until it gets below that level for uh, this size pond. So it would be a pretty neat idea to somehow utilize hydroelectric into this for whenever it has a uh, heavy rain, maybe the possibility of running a small generator off the water that's draining out of the pond since you have to drain it anyway. So, all right, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Till next video, I'll see ya.